it saved. How did they edit that? That's why I fucked it up. You know, there's a thing there where it's just data. You're very welcome here to this under 19A All Ireland League Finals. I'm joined here by Martin Conroy as we're watching Holy Faith Clontarf in the red take on Colossia Ciaran of Leakslip. Coach, Jack, this is gearing up to be a cracking game. Yeah, uh, talked to both co coaches before the game. They've had two meetings already this year, which Leakslip have come out on top in. Uh, Jerome is hopeful his girls will just get the better of it today. He wants them moving the ball, getting down the floor, so we'll... Um, We'll see how it goes. Should be a cracker of a game. Yes, indeed. Holy Faith with the first score of the day to make it 2-0. We'll just update the scoreboard for you guys there. Um, it's eight-minute quarters here. 6.50 gone in this first quarter. Just Elizabeth Black with the ball now for Holy Faith. Neve Kenny kicks it off to uh, Maeve O'Shea. Maeve O'Shea on the drive. And the Steve Mastering comes up with the turnover. Good drive inside there by Fatima Oriedi. It's going to be a baseline ball for Kalashna Kiron. Sirk Tiernan pops it inside there. Looking for options on the baseline. And it's gone out for a Holy Faith ball. Elizabeth Black on the point here for Holy Faith. Dispossessed though by Sirk Tiernan, who drives all the way up, but it doesn't drop for her. And Elizabeth Black wins it back, fires it down the court. And another good score there for Holy Faith. That's the transition play that Jerome was looking for. So that's a good pass out from Elizabeth Black and a great finish from uh, Maeve O'Shea there to give her team a four-point lead. And a timeout called here. 5.43 to go. Holy Faith leading 4-0. Here. No, we'll have it tomorrow. 
masculine two, Nave masculine five. Emer Harrington is wearing 30. Kira Bracken 23. Serge Tiernan is wearing six. Fatima is wearing Kira Milady 40. And we're on the free throw line here with Kalash to Kieran. Kieran Milady <laughs> misses the first. And the second one just rolls off and Brona Power Cassidy collects the ball, gives it to Neve Kenny. Black. Pops it outside for the long shot. Comes off the front of the rim though and it's gone out for a Klaus Shakiron ball. Kojak, you know, Klaus Shakiron won the cup final back in January. These two are no strangers to each other. They met in those cup semi-finals with Klaus Shakiron coming out, the winners of that and then going on to win the cup. But this is, you know, it's gonna be a cracking game really. It's a who's who of Courtyard Livy Celtics and DCU Mercy in terms of club basketball as well, no? Absolutely, yeah. Um, the only thing I'd say about Colossia Kieran is that uh, you know the, the, the little lady who had nine three-pointers for them in the cup final is is very sick. She's just about to check into the game for the first time. So that's Kira Bracken. Kira Bracken is is uh, very much under the weather now. Pat O'Neill had also told me that uh, Maeve O'Shea had rolled her ankle last week in practice, and is is kind of this is her first game back since then. So yeah, look, it's going to be a cracker of a game. They're two really good teams, coach really well. So. Hopefully we'll get what we, we were looking for. And it's Bracken on the ball here. Passes it out to Fatima Akaridi, who had such a fantastic cup final game for them as well. But it's Neve Kenny for Holy Faith Clintarf. Gives it to Black, it goes back to Kenny. Popped around here to Maeve O'Shea. And good defense there from Sorka Tiernan to stop that drive through. Kalosh Kiran yet to get on the scoring here though as we're ticking towards the halfway mark of this first quarter. Defense is very much on top at the moment, Kojak. Absolutely, yeah. You know, it's the same as, as a lot of these cup finals where uh, you know teams are just feeling themselves out for the first couple of minutes. When it settles down, we'll see, you know, the, the better from, from both teams then. Masterson with the shot. Great score there from Masterson. And it looks like Fatima Akaridi is going off with a bit of an injury. She will be a big loss to Kalasha Kiran if she's going to stay off for any amount of time. Hopefully it's not too serious. I think she might just be winded. But we'll keep you posted on that. As a lovely move inside, Elizabeth Black to Maeve O'Shea for Holy Faith Clintarf. O'Shea with a great finish there, great vision from Black to find her inside as well. That's two good baskets from O'Shea now to settle her team down. You know, I think we'll start to get going now. Masterson Shots will start to go. again. Once the shots start to fall, you know that the, the nerves are gone, you know? We have so many experienced international stars here on both teams who are well used to big games as Holy Faith and Neve Kenny try to make it back to a three-point game and she succeeds. Great drive and, and finish there from Neve. Really strong off the right hand. Masterson for Kalash Kiran. Great ball inside to Milady. Super play. Nice patience, didn't force the pass. Wait till the player was free. Nice pass inside and a great finish from Milady. Oh, Power Cassidy inside to Neve Kenny. It, it's almost the same play the other <laughs> end of the floor, you know, but, and it's a great finish again. 
but the pass is what makes that. It also makes these under 19A finals so good to watch because the skill is just fantastic. Yeah, and you, when you got skill, you've also got to got effort. And you see when Neve Masterson lost that ball there, she chased it all the way back to make sure she got the block in. Great job from her. Power Cassidy using her body to try and find some space. Sorka Tiernan, though, keeps her out. And it pops back out here to Elizabeth Black, who drives through and draws the foul. She'll be heading to the free throw line. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go here in this first quarter of the under 19A school league final. And a timeout has been called with Holy Faith Clontarf leading here 10 7. And you're very welcome back here to this under 19A All Ireland Schools League final between Holy Faith Clontarf in red and Claus Shakiron in green. Two minutes 40 on the clock in this opening quarter. Elizabeth Black on the free throw line for Holy Faith Clontarf. She misses the first. And the second is good. It's a four point lead for Holy Faith. Great defense there against Sorka Tiernan as well, but Klosh Kiron managed to keep the ball and unlucky there not for Kira Milady not to get to finish that because it was a lovely step through move. It was, yeah, like, I think she might have traveled. I think she, she needed to get the ball to the floor. She took two steps rather than one, but it was a fantastic pass from the outset. But you see yeah. Jerome now has pushed the, the pressure up to the half court line now on Sorka to try and put her, you know, get the ball out of her hands as much as possible. Yeah, great defense there by Power Cassidy on Sorka Tiernan. Oh, what a finish from Holy Faith. Super pass, great finish. Kira Bracken taking over the point for Kalosh Kiron. As you said, she had nine three-pointers in the cup final back in January, followed on the same day by CJ Fulton. So two incredible underage performances there as well yeah i was here that day and it was um it was pretty special to watch both those performances to be fair power casty oh to neve kenny oh there we go super score from kenny yeah you, you just can't give a player that amount of time to get herself set and take a shot she had over second and she was able to make the shot easily then especially neve because we've seen her both at international level and indeed at club and school level if she's given time on the three-pointer she'll take it elizabeth black pops it out to neve kenny power cassidy kenny again with the very long three this time doesn't drop for her though and we're back on the move with kalosh to kiron sort of turn into bracken Bracken, of course, who recently made her Super League debut for Courtyard Liffey Celtics alongside sister Erin Bracken, who's coaching Kalosh Kiron. Speaking of Super League, Kojak, congratulations. IT Carlo Basketball are officially safe for a, another year. One more year. Thank God. Yeah, it was a, we got a great win yesterday, and we're just 
thinking about it last night. It would be great if we could play all our games away from home because that's where we seem to win at the moment, <laughs> Mary. <laughs> well, congratulations. Indeed, all of the all of the national leagues are so close at the moment. I need to master the art of by location for next weekend, <laughs> but we are 17 seconds here to go in this first quarter in the schools. Power Cassidy takes her time, finds Kenny, who takes the drive on, gets the score, and will be going for the and one with 7.3 seconds to go. Yeah, it was uh, Kira Maledi just kind of stepped across there. It was a good call. Uh, she's going to go to the line now for an extra free throw. Fashna uh, Akaridi, good to see her back in on the court. She got a little bit of a break there after, I, th I think she got a bit winded there going off the court. Yeah, I think you're right. You, you can see Holy Faith, though, they're doing a really good job of attacking the zone, attacking the, the paint. And they're getting the rewards for that because it's opening up shots for them as well. 19-7 is the score in favor of Holy Faith. Shot goes up and a lovely score to leave it at 19 points to nine going in to quarter two. Welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala. It is day one of the All-Ireland School Leagues finals, which are running from today all the way through to Thursday evening. And what a game we've got going on here. It's the under-19A girls final. Holy Faith, Clontarf currently leading by 10 points, but 10 points, as we know, Kojak, means absolutely nothing at schools level finals. Yeah, 100%. Like, I mean, Cueva Masterson came up with a great basket there right on the the buzzer to get her team within 10 points but we know how quickly that this team of, of any team could erode that deficit very quickly you know it's masterson again there like with a great strong move to the basket now she's going to have a chance to bring the game to seven points Misses that one, and Holy Faith pick up the rebound. Brona Paracasti at the top of the key, finds Neve Kenny. Kenny across to Katie Doyle, and it's baseline drive there by Anya Walsh, and dispossessed on the far side, Sorka Tiernan comes out with it, finds Fatima Akaridi. Good stand from Brona Paracasti, though. And it's gone out for a Holy Faith Clonturf ball. Maria Long to Neve Kenny. Kenny looking for options. She finds it on the other side of the floor in Katie Doyle. Power Cassidy. Too long again. And Katie Doyle. Doesn't manage to keep that one in play. It's gone out for a Claw Shakiron ball as Maeve O'Shea 
comes back into the game after just a little rest there at the start of the quarter. Yeah, I was talking to Jerome before the game, and he said he was going to kind of use maybe mainly the four girls uh, as much as, as possible to try and get this game in a bag, but he will try and give the other the, them a rest at some stage. Might get 30 seconds, minute rest here and there. I will call there against Brona Power Cassidy. So it's gone out for a cloche Kiran ball. Jerome, of course, has a very deep bench there, Kojak, as well, when you compare it to Kalosh Kiran, who have two subs sitting down there. What a pass. Yeah, I... Like, we said this in the cup final, if you remember, Mary, it's the same thing. Like, they've kind of had seven, eight players the whole year. Um, from my experience, it's something that you, you kind of get used to after a while. <laughs> and, you, like, the coach gets to know the rotations, gets to know when to rest people. And uh, I'm sure Aaron and, and Yvonne will do a good job on that. And, and the players themselves are fit, they're used to it. Um, but when it gets to this kind of level and this kind of, you know, atmosphere in the final, they will have to find out how to give each other a break at some stage, you know? Yeah, most definitely. As Fatima Akaridi, who has been one of my favorite players to watch during these this season of schools, gets her two free throws. Yeah, she's a great kid. I've, I've done a couple of camps down in, um, Leaks up there with Yvonne and, and, Ke and Aaron, and she's been there all the time trying to improve her game. Power Cassidy to Doyle. Kenny has Power Cassidy if she needs her, she uses her. Power Cassidy takes on the drive, finds the space, and good hands. She nearly got her own rebound, but Akarita comes out with it instead and is fouled by Maria Long. That's your buddy again, though. She's getting in the lane there, and she yeah. you know, makes a great steal and drives hard to the basket. Yeah, absolutely no fear. Just straight. She took on three of them there. Speaking of leak slip and court air Liffey Celtics, uh, sad farewell this week, Kojak. Jasmine Boone heading for Australia, and though we'll, we wish her luck, I'm definitely going to miss her. She's so good to watch. Yeah, like, I mean, Jazz has been uh, a major part of Super League basketball here for the last three years or so between been in water for the first year and then Liffey Celtics the past two years and also was a victory scholar. So I got to see a lot of her playing college basketball as well. Uh, you know, our loss, I suppose, is uh, Australia's gain, but it, it's, it's hard to see a, a great player like that leaving our shores and... Hopefully she'll come back at some stage, you know. She's a, she's a, a credit to herself and, and her, her family and, of course, the, the Victory Scholar Program as well, which, which got her here in the first place. So uh, wish nothing but the best of luck to Jazz. A fantastic lady. Yes, indeed. We wish her all the best from all of us here at Basketball Ireland as well. As just on the court down there, Maeve O'Shea with a fantastic jump shot for Holy Faith, Faith Clontarf just to widen that gap a little bit. 21-15 as a big second quarter here from Kalash Shakiran. Sork Tiernan manages to keep it in play, has two inside, Akaridi does, and finds one of them, and it's a great score. Yeah, it's a four-point game now, and like we've got five minutes of Holy Fate been on 14 fouls. So like every foul from now on, Kalash Shakiran are going to the line. Great score from Elizabeth Black there to push the lead out to six points again. But that, that could be telling now towards the end of this quarter. Another great player to watch, Elizabeth Black. Indeed, so many of them here from that DCU Mercy team who put their names in the history books in January with an under 18, an under 20, and a women's Super League Hula Hoops a National Cup title in a weekend. I don't think Mark Ingle or indeed any of the DCU Mercy family will, will forget anytime soon. And here is Neve Kenny with the steal and the layup. And as expected, we are going for a timeout. 4.04 to play here in quarter two. It's a 10 point game.
4.04 to play in quarter two in this under 19A girls all Ireland school league final. Reigning cup champions Kalash de Ciaran of Leakslip in green facing off against Holy Faith Clontarf. Clontarf with the 10 point lead at the moment. But they had a 10 point lead at the end of quarter one as well. And we saw Kalash de Ciaran bring it back to just three or four there, Kojak. Yeah, look, I mean, they're putting a lot of pressure on Sorka on, on when she picks up the ball or double teaming her every time. And she's finding it hard to get the pass out of that. Um, like Lisa came right back into it. Now with you know, Kira sitting back down on the bench, we know the offensive presence she has. Um, you know, Holy Fate are definitely taking taking that. Uh, you know, take they're they're getting the better of that exchange. So hopefully, you know, they, they, it, hopefully Lisa can get back in the game. We get going again. Neve Maston with the steal at the other end goes for the long shot. There doesn't drop for it though. Comes off the front of the rim, and Holy Faith with Elizabeth Black. Could see the idea she was going for there, didn't work out, but it's gone out for a Holy Faith ball. A little bit tongue tied there for a second, Mary. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Power Cassidy finds Black. She's a couple of options, and what a pass inside that was to Maria Long. Yeah, it was great Black. movement. Great movement off the ball for Maria Long. You know, she, she cut behind the defender. It's a great pass. It's an easy finish. Masterson has Sorka Tiernan in there and just didn't drop for Kira Milady. Fatima Akaridi somehow gets the ball back. And it's a score for Leakslip. That's a fantastic take there from Fatima. Like she ripped the ball out of... Uh, Brona's hands and straight up for the layup. Great job. Holy Faith and Neve Kenny. Neve is having a great game for Holy Faith here today. Yeah, she's doing it both ways. Like she hit a big shot. Oh, she's stealing the ball. Go. She's off again. Clever basketball. Yeah, that's so smart. Like, I mean, she knew that the pressure was coming from Sarka. You know, took the jump stop, waited for her to fly by, and then made a layup. But it's great defense from Neve. That's her second or third steal as well. She's an absolute warrior on defense. I've said it so many times. Maeve O'Shea, meanwhile, with the steal and the layup, but doesn't drop. But she gets her own rebound, and she will be going for two shots now. You know, you can see how Leeds Slip are really missing Kira on the floor. You know, both defensively and offensively, they need to get her out there. And uh, Jerome Westbrook's calling a timeout there for Holy Faith as we go in, 1.45 to go in quarter two. One forty-five to go here in quarter two. Holy Faith, Clontarf leading 33-19 against Klosh Kiran of Leakslip. Yvonne Bracken and Aaron Bracken giving some words of inspiration as Kira Bracken checks back into the game. Yeah, it, it's tough on Kira. Like I mean, I talked to her before the game as well. Like she's, you can see her face. There's there's no blood in her face. She's yeah, physically she's so sick. pale, isn't she? Yeah. Um, you know, it kills her, I'd say, to, to be this way in a, in a game of this importance, but she'll give it everything she has. 
Maeve O'Shea banks the second shot. As Kitty Doyle checks back in for Holy Faith Clintarf. Jerome Westbrook's just giving a bit of rest to some of the players. Rotating the bench nicely here as, oh, great ball movement from Kalash Kiran finds Fatima Akaridi inside. Seems to be a foul called against Elizabeth Black, it looks like. Yeah. And it's going to be two shots, I would say. Yeah, they're in foul trouble. Holy Faith are in foul trouble, that is. Yeah, nobody knows who's shooting. <laughs> would have thought it was Sorka. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, it's not. They're putting uh, Me, Cle Cleva, Cleva Masterson. Masterson on the line, yeah. Riva misses the first. But I guess three and a half minutes now they've been in foul trouble, Holy Fate, and this is the first set of free throws they've given up. So that's good defense. That is you know? good, yeah. One twenty-one to go. Jerome's voice, you can just hear it echoing here, Kojak, can't you? Yeah, he, he's, he's got that kind of two-tree or a one-one-tree zone defense, and it's it's causing a lot of problems for Kalasha Kiron. You know, they, they are finding space, but it's it's with maybe about two or three seconds left in the shot clock yeah, each time. they have to work quite hard to get it, yeah. Akaridi drives, doesn't drop for her, though. Holy faith. Come back out with it. Neve Kenny to Black. Back to Kenny. Oh, Great lovely pass. pass inside to Katie Doyle. She just couldn't finish it though, but she gets the ball back. And it's back to Doyle. She goes for the long shot this time. Elizabeth Black is there to pick it up. And Kalasha Kiran and Sorka Tiernan come out with the ball. Great defense from Holy Faith. Just you not know, dropping for Kalash Kiran at the moment, though. I just love the, the, the fact that Katie Doyle wasn't afraid to shoot two shots in a row there. So, her, you know, she, she missed the first one. She's just as much confidence with the next one. Definitely, as we are about on. Yes, we're on the buzzer here now. That is half time here in the National Basketball Arena. Holy fake Clintarf lead Kalash Kiran 34 points to 19.
and you are welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala where quarter three of the under 19A girls All-Ireland School League's final is getting underway. Holy Fakelin Tarf in red currently leading the way by 15 points, 34-19 against Kalasha Kiran of Leakslip as Rona Power Cassidy intercepts a pass from Sorka Tiernan and finishes under the basket to extend that Clontarf lead. Yeah, they, they had done well, Kalasha Kiran there just to uh, get a stop on the first offense of Holy Fate, but needed to control the ball. It was just unlucky with Sorka uh, getting it to Maeve or to Brona. Kier Bracken unlucky not to finish there for Kalosh Kieran. But it's gone out for their ball. This, of course, just the first game of three league finals today. We're going to follow this game with the under-19A boys final between St. Joseph's College, the Bish of County Galway against Intermediate School of Kilorglin County Kerry. That game tipping at 12.30 p.m., of course, if there's no overtime in this game. And that's going to be followed by the under 16 C girls final at 2 o'clock between Jesus and Mary Gortner Abbey and St. Colum Kills of Knockline. Kira Bracken again finds the space to drive through, but just isn't able to finish. And Elizabeth Black there called for a travel. Yeah, you can see Kira's getting frustrated with herself. I mean, she's there, probably moves that she would finish nine times out of ten, but. You know, you, you can't, you, it's very hard to fight sickness, Mary. It is indeed, yeah. Maeve O'Shea comes out with the rebound there. Neve Kenny, who's been the bright spark for the Holy Faith offense. She had 15 points in the first half for Holy Faith. And Maeve O'Shea just behind her had nine in the first half and that's gonna increase her tally as well. A lovely finish there to make it 38-19. Yeah, they just look more composed on their offense. You know, they're taking good shots, no four shots. Um, they're, they're moving the ball well. They're running the floor well, which is exactly what your own wanted before the game. So, you know, they're, they're, they're executing their game plan very well at the moment. Masterson finds Akaridi inside. Again, her, her hook shot just doesn't drop for her. Yeah, it's a tough shot over two players, you know, but um, she's been playing well. She's been... A, you know, one of the bright sparks for um, for Kilosha Kieran. We saw it uh, so successfully for Garvey's Trilly Warriors on Saturday night. Goran oh, Pantovic yeah. with that hook shot over Sword's head. Oh, lovely there you score. Go. There you go. Maybe that's the spark. You know, Kira gets going. Maybe hit another eight of those, see what happens. And it wouldn't be outside the realms of impossibility or possibility even I can't talk as we've seen her do it before it's great to see her getting her confidence up with those outside shots as well last summer she was a bit more nervous taking them but this season well, I've seen her since she was nine years of age and she can shoot the hell out of ball Mary yeah. you know she's a great player oh no she's super yeah as Malady comes up, Tiernan gets it back out to Malady. She draws the foul and she'll be going to the line for two shots. 5.02 on the clock here in this quarter three. Yeah, they've got lots of time, you know. I mean, they just need to chip away. If they can get the lead down under 10 points, get it to, you know, seven, eight points going into the last quarter. They've something to work on then, to, you know, going at Holy Fate. Um, and they've been here before. They've done it before, you know, so... Free throws are huge, though. Can't miss free throws. You've been preaching that a lot this year, Kojak, and how true it is. We've seen so many, so many schools games and indeed national league games this year decided on free throws. A good few in the women's division one actually this year, as well. A lot of games finishing thanks to free throws. Yeah, well, I, I know Marvel City Hawks won their first game with two free throws, you know, so, and maybe even their third game as well, if I'm not mistaken, so. Yeah. You know, 
We've always said it as coaches, free throws win games, end the story. And they've know? won the league there as well. They there won the go. Women's Division One. They'll be joining you in the Super League next year. Yeah, what a great kind of... Uh, Brilliant for Kilkenny and for Julian O'Keefe and uh, all the hard work going in there behind the scenes. Uh, I, I really, really like Julian O'Keefe. He's done a fantastic job down there. Three years, he's got them in Super League. The, the consistency down there of having the, the Sheehy's and... You know, Claire Kelly, these girls, the two Americans, sorry, the two girls, Katie and Kelly, you know, that, that's huge for, for a club. And uh, I'm looking forward to inviting them to the Barra Centre next year again, as we did last year. Definitely. It's going to be very interesting to watch, as indeed is the current Super League season, which is neck and neck at the top of the table. Kira Bracken doesn't fall for it though, but good rebounding from Milady. She's dispossessed by Brona Power Cassidy. And Holy Faith. Power Cassidy bounce pass through to Kenny. That one doesn't drop for her, but she's just so lively there around their offense and indeed at their defense, as you said, Kojak. Absolutely, like at least four of her points have come off steals and, and run backs, you know, where she's making layups off them. Um, she, she's had a fantastic game. Like she's been the spark that our team needed to, to make sure that they, you know, they're ahead in this game. And she, she's played with, with great confidence and played really, really well both ends of the floor. 3.38 to go here in quarter three. Maria Long bringing the ball up for Holy Faith. Kenny to O'Shea. Comes out to Anya Walsh, who finds Pyra Cassie O'Shea again. Walsh to Kenny. Shot clock going down. Maeve O'Shea with the shot. It doesn't fall, though. And Sork Tiernan and Kira Bracken. Tiernan with the shot. Masterson getting the offensive board. So a tough shot to make that there as well. Yeah, you like you're coming Kriva. along the baseline with with no backboard to aim at, you know. So it is a tough shot, but it's one she should be making, she'd expect to make. As we are headed for a timeout with three minutes on the clock. Three minutes to play here in quarter three in this under-19 final. Just been told Neve Kenny had 18 points, not 15 in the first half. I'm obviously not as good at counting as I thought I was, Kojak. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing fine, Mary. Ah, thanks, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> it's too early on a Monday for me, I think. After a busy weekend of games, including your own. All over the country. All over the country, yeah. What an exciting finish we've got coming. Uh, all leagues, like all a, leagues, apart from yeah. the ladies' division one, what a season it is for Irish basketball, you know. Yeah, it's, it's been and indeed the women's division one until it was decided. And that could have went either way. That could have well, gone anyway, know? yeah. And these schools finals are always so exciting as well. And the college finals, Mary, and the college up finals next week. Yeah. Least I forget. Weather permitting. I know, I know. Beast from the east coming, but. Uh, Oblet Hall next week for those college finals, Kojak, yeah? Yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday. 
Very good. Three Free admission each, for those rebound. as well. Super rebound, yeah. Some of these players, of course, doing their leave insert this year as well. So we'll surely be seeing more of their names as the colleges at the college's level in the next couple of years. Yeah, it depends on how many of them actually stay around in Ireland. You know, I'm sure you're going to see a few of them going to the States and, and places like that, you know. So um, we'd love for them to come into the, the college, the college leagues and varsities. That's what we want is we want the best players there. Sir Tiernan with the rebound, but it's given away and Clontarf on the attack again, but Masterson this time across the court to Tiernan. Kira Bracken drives inside. Oh. oh, that's a fantastic score. Like off a wrong foot. You know, still able to get the balance to make the shot. Great shot from Kira. Kenny to O'Shea. She's called for the travel. As Fatima Akaridi and Elizabeth Black check back into the game. 1.41 to go here in quarter three. Still lots of time if they can get so going. So much time, yeah. Turn into Masterson. It's Back to Tiernan. It's just a little bit static, their offense. You know, they're, there's a great shot. but Boom, Masterson. It's just a little bit slow. They need to move the ball a little bit quicker, and they're, they're probably going to get better looks than that even, you know? And Masterson with the rebound. It's a 10-point game here at the arena. Bracken, Tiernan was calling first, but Bracken drives through. There we go, like they got it back inside the 10, now they've got to keep it there, you know, even get a big stop here, go down, make another bucket, hopefully get it to six points, five points before they go in in the last quarter. Crowd are coming alive here as well. Good defense there, brilliant defense from Masterson. She's been super for them in this quarter. Tiernan to Akaridi, she drives. Tiernan with the rebound to Bracken, to Masterson. The wide open inside, as they can see it. Uh, tied up well. Jump ball is going in Clontarf's direction. Good help from Maria Long there. She got her hands in the ball to tie it up. You know, again, Kieran, Kenosha Kieran will be looking for just a, you know, a, a good solid defense here, not give up a basket and go into the last quarter with only maybe eight points down. Eight seconds on the clock for Elizabeth Black and Holy Faye Clontarf's final offense. And it's a travel called. So Kenosha Kieran are going to get the shot. Who's going to take it? I don't see anybody except for either Ethan Masterson, maybe, or, or Sarka Tiernan taking this shot. Too slow to get it in. Yeah. And that is the end of the quarter, 38-30, in favor of Holy Faith Clintarf.
and a quarter four just about to get underway here in this under 19A girls schools league final. Holy Faith Clontarf leading by eight points. But I have a feeling, Kojak, we're going to be in for a crack in fourth quarter. Yeah, I was. I just watched both coaches uh, during the break there, and you can see Yvonne and Aaron Bracken. They're trying to get their team to to lift their energy levels a little bit if they can. Uh, Jerome was was trying to get his team to be more composed and calm, and go back to doing what they were doing and how they were winning the game by running the floor. You know, so it'll be an interesting last quarter. Most definitely, as Kalash Shakiran. Have to fight the shot clock here. Kira Bracken to Akariri. Can she get it up in time? Yes, she can. Now we've got a ball game, you know, six point game. Nerves are going to kick in again. And it's the momentum is definitely with Kalosha Kiran at the minute. Most definitely is Bracken to Masterson. Good defense from Maeve O'Shea, but it falls to Akaridi again. She was trying that hook shot over. Just didn't work out though. Neve Kenny for Holy Faith to Elizabeth Black. Uses the screen off Maeve O'Shea, but intercepted. Kira Bracken with that big smile. Yeah, well, she, I don't know. She looks like she's getting a little bit more energy now, yeah, wherever that's does. come from. This could be that Michael Jordan game, that flu game. That's <laughs> what we're looking at from Kira at the moment. <laughs> Quiva Masterson. Tiernan to Bracken. Masterson. Neve, that was. Kira again. Drive straight through that defense. She's done it a good few times now. Yeah, they're doing a better job now of attacking that zone. You know what I mean? And, and that's opening things up for them. You know, they, they're moving the ball inside out and then they're looking to, to drive as well. They've done a much better job in the last few minutes of doing that against Holy Faith. Six point game with just over six minutes to play. Paracasti gets a hand to it, but Quiva Masterson wins it back. Akaridi, Bracken again. Oh, what a fabulous move. That's fabulous. Like it's a, We call that a high carry over. Gets it over the defender's shoulder. Nice lean in to finish on her left hand. Great job from Kira again. Elizabeth Black. Neve Kenny's on the run for her. And just slides out over the sideline. They just need to get their composure back. I mean, they're... they're Making mistakes that they weren't making in the first half, but that's also the, the intensity of the defense from Kadosh Shakira. Bracken finds Masterson. Bracken's calling for it. She gets it. Elizabeth Black is straight out on her. She knows the danger of Bracken out on the three point line. Quiva Masterson instead drives. What, oh, a, score. what a score! Oh, Kojak, momentum, we have a ball momentum, game. Momentum, momentum. Here we go. Oh my. Neve Kenny taking it on her shoulders. And a bit of a reprieve here for Holy Faith. A few minutes to catch their breath now as we're going to head to the free throw line with Anya Walsh. It's a great and offensive rebound from Anya there, Mary. Great and job. Jerome for team. calling a timeout there as Holy Faith lead by just two with 5.11 on the clock.
Welcome back here to a very loud National Basketball Arena as with 5.11 on the clock in quarter four, it is officially a ball game here. Two points separating the teams, Kojak. Holy Fake Clontarf is still in the lead with 38-36. Yeah, like, uh, you, you got to take your hat off to Kalashik here and they've just, you know, chipped away, chipped away. They've got themselves in a position now where they can, you know, definitely... You know, go at this game now. You know, it's like a it's like a new game with five minutes to go. So, this is going to be fun, I think. I think so. Hold on tight. Matt, oh. Foul call there against Holy Faith. Yeah, they've, they've come out kind of uh, trying to up their intensity on defense as well. But the first, you know, 15, 20 seconds out of that timeout, they're coming out and they've got two fouls. They've got to be careful now that they don't get in foul trouble early. They switched their D up to a man, you know. Going to leave Bracken open. Just. Got to shoot it. Got to shoot it. But Didn't get it away. Good defense there by Holy Faith. Holy Faith need one good offense just to settle them down again. You know, get an easy layup. You know, it, and it's not happening for them at the moment. You know, everything seems to be going against them. But if they can get that one offense, gets them settled again, you know, that, that'll give them a little bit more confidence. Tiernan. To Masterson, Quiva that is. Akariti has Tiernan free on the outside. And Kaloshik Iran have taken the lead. What a moment, what a score by Sorka Tiernan. Yeah, I suppose we shouldn't really be surprised, Mary, you know I mean? <laughs> no, to be That's fair. what these kids are capable of. That was a fantastic shot. Neve Kenny working so hard under those boards for Holy Faith. That one just didn't fall for her though. It's at the other end. Sorka Tiernan. Again, massive score. Great job from Sorka. Thought she was going to dish it to Fatima, but decided to take it herself and finish really, really well. Holy Faith somehow find Maeve O'Shea inside on the baseline there and she'll be going for to the line for vital vital free throws trying to break this momentum that is firmly in Kalosh Shakiron's side of the court yeah like I think that's about a 15-0 run there you know in the last seven eight minutes for Kalosh Shakiron so first one doesn't drop you know, she needs to make this one just to, to, again, to give herself and her teammates confidence. I'm sure she will. I was going to say, Kojak, I was hoping you didn't jinx her there. Sarka Tiernan, it's a two-point game. Three minutes, 15 seconds on the clock. Kara Bracken breaks free. Draws the foul. It's coming on Elizabeth Black. And she's going to be going to the free throw line after this timeout. 3.09 to go here in quarter four.
309 to go here in quarter four at the National Basketball Arena in Tala in what has turned into an absolutely cracking under 19A girls league final. Kira Bracken. Cool as a cucumber. Misses the second and Maeve O'Shea with the rebound for Holy Faith. O'Shea to Kenny. We're just after ticking under the three minute mark. Elizabeth Black onto her left hand. It doesn't go. Kalosh to Kieran Havish and Kira Bracken slowing things down. You know, we haven't talked about the defensive job that Neve Masterson has been doing in Brona Power Cassidy. You know, she's done a real good job on her, held her to maybe four or six points at most. You know, that's great work for her team, you know. She's Tiernan wide open. To Bracken. She has Masterson inside. It comes out to Tiernan. Oh, this game, Kojak. Yeah, that was the same spot she hit the last yeah. one from. I thought that was going down, to be honest, Mary. Power Cassidy, good hands there by Neve Masterson. You mentioned that matchup already. Yeah, I'm not sure she wants to switch her off, though. She should, uh, she should try and stay with her as much as she can for the next two minutes. Tiernan. Has Bracken uh -oh. in uh -oh. acres of space. Oh. oh, a break there for Holy Faith. She was absolutely on her own there. Elizabeth Black. But look who's there for the rebound again. You know, Kira does a great job. That's going to be the four-team foul now in Holy Faith as well. It's going to send them to the line after this. Jerome wants a timeout to talk about. And a timeout we are going for. 125 to go here in quarter four. One twenty-five is on the clock here in quarter four in this under 19A girls All Ireland League final. Kalasha Kiron with a three point lead. Bracken drives through. Power Cassidy gets the rebound to Black. It doesn't fall for Black. And Kalasha Kiron come out with the ball. Sorry, Katirnan. It was fantastic defense, like got her body straight up, didn't give the foul away. Great job from Sarka. Fatima Karidi is open inside if she could see her. Masterson to, Ma to Neve Masterson. 
and Neve Kenny with another great interception to Power Cassidy. Oh, oh my, oh my, Kojak. That's the first time she's got free in the second half. You know, and that's a, that's a big basket now. She's going to the line for a free throw as well. Oh. So do you push now, try and get an early shot? Make sure you get that, whoa, ref. Foul, no, not a foul, sorry. Yes, yeah, a foul now. Um, oh, I don't think they should have taken that foul now. I mean, it's probably be better off letting them write out the shot clock. Because now they're definitely gonna get the last shot of the game as well with 29 seconds to go. So to get these two free throws, even if Tontariff get the rebound, they're still gonna have the last shot of the game, you know? Also, probably not the best lady in the world to put on the line as well. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to jinx her, but... She won't get jinxed, Mary. She's too good for that. If there's anybody you wanted on the free throw line at this stage of a game, it is Sorka Tiernan. Power Cassidy! Oh! That's the game right there, I think. She had... Did she have to take it? And we are going to the free throw line at the other end. And again, you've got, you know, Kira going to the line. They just have so many shooters. It's great. But this has been some comeback from Kalash Shakira on one stage. I think they were 17 points down. Unbelievable. You know, and they, they've done a fantastic job just chipping away, chipping away. And it looks like it's going to be the, I don't, don't want to jinx it, but it looks don't like it's going to be the double. Don't say it yet. Missed the second, get the rebound, there you go. Accurini oh, with the rebound, it. we have 16 seconds on the clock. Holy fate, Elizabeth Black to power Cassidy. She's going for it on a block from Masterson. That's it, that's the ball game there, Five Mary. Five seconds, two, one. Kalash Shakiran, our under 19A All-Ireland League champions. They have done the double, under 19A Cup, and now under 19A League, after a comeback, Kojak, that we will be writing about for some time to come. What an absolute finish to that game. What a fantastic game, you know, I mean, again, it just shows the, the standard of basketball at this stage group and at this level is just, is, is fantastic, you know. Great comeback from Kalosha Kiron. My heart goes out a little bit to Holy Fate. They, they worked so hard first half of the game uh, and did in the second half as well, but were brilliant in the first half. You know, never missed a shot, worked really hard. Uh, great game of basketball, two great teams. And Jerome Westbrooks and Holy Faith Clontarf. As Teresa Walsh, President of Basketball Ireland, and Jason Colleen are on the podium. Holy Faith Clontarf. Going up to get their silver medals. The disappointment etched all over their faces, Kojak. Yeah, I suppose like they, they've played Kalash Kiran, and that's the third time this year, and they've lost at all three, three games, you know, and the, the margins have been virtually the same from what I believe, you know, one, two, three points, you know, so. It, that's tough to take, especially with the way they played in the first half. But, you know, huge credit to Kalash to Kieran. Um, they never threw in the towel. They played smart basketball second half. Got their run, got the momentum. And, you know, momentum in, in finals in any game it can be killers. And they did a fantastic job of closing out the game. And your winners today, 
Yeah, led in style by Kira Bracken and Sorica Tiernan and and Masterson and and them all really like because as you said Masterson on on defense against Power Cassidy. Well, I, I thought Neve had a fantastic game defensively. But she opened up early for for uh, Kenosha Kieran. She had about seven points early on, but then you know she really knuckled down, took Sark, uh, uh, Brona Power Cassidy. Uh, did a great job on her. You know, you, 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 a lot of credit goes to her as well because that's a major scoring threat from from the other team, kind of half nullified. Well, they are the under-19 champions, league and cup. What a way to finish your Leaving Cert year in sport, at least. Yeah, and they're doing it with seven players and as well, Mary, you know, which is phenomenal stuff at, at this level, you know. MVP Sorka Tiernan of this under 19A final. Sorka, who was so crucial in those dying stages of the game with that huge three, is presented the MVP award, and we're just going to. Take the cup presentation. Don't forget the next game, St. Joe's the Bish against Intermediate School Kilorglan. Here is joint captains Masterson and Tiernan going up to collect the cup of President of Basketball Ireland, Teresa Walsh. And there we are, folks, the under 19A Girls Champions 2018. We will be back in a couple of minutes with the under-19A boys final live across the Basketball Ireland YouTube channel.